Great. I'll see you in a bit. Let's go, Jody. Nathan's waiting. Ryan's a good guy, and I think he really cares about you. Yeah. I just hope that Aiden's gonna get that too. I think so. Can't be totally sure, but I think that Aiden got that. Silence, computer. But yeah, I potentially mentioned to you guys that I oh, that like normally third person with the camera like stop pushing me into the wall. Normally third person with the camera way down here like this is annoying. All right, here we are. Yeah, all right. Call me when you're done. I come pick you up. Except for the whole fact that I consider it that Iden is the camera perspective. Whatever Nathan says. Be careful. Except for like cutscenes and stuff, but like say for this, I did this kind of perspective. I'm in. Except for it does go, it does change a little bit. It would be interesting if Jody. he was the camera perspective. I'm so glad to see you safe. I kept my part of the bargain. Now it's the CIA's turn. As far as the CIA is concerned. Uh oh, uh oh. You no longer exist. You're now Elizabeth North. Ha! No identity and no life. Five hundred thousand dollars for services rendered. That should help make a new start. Thanks. From him or from the CIA? It's from the CIA. Okay. It's from him. Ooh. Before you go, there's one last thing I'd like to ask. When my wife and daughter disappeared in that accident 15 years ago. 15 years before, so I she was to die too. I cried a lot. Banging my head against the wall, trying to figure out why, why. Why them? Never being able to hold them again. It was like a wound that wouldn't heal. But then you came along. And I realized they were still here all the time, near me. I just couldn't see. Uh oh, uh oh. Dangerous things. The government gave me everything I needed to study the infra-world. They were interested in military applications. I was interested 
seeing my family again. It's taken me some years, but I finally succeeded in creating this. You can see them too now. Hello, my darlings. He's got them captured. Helen. Laura. I miss you so much. See them every day. So we'll be together. Huh. What? Danger. I'm working on a modified condenser that can communicate with souls of the infraworld. Speaking with the dead Jody. Can you imagine? What do you want from me? I want you to help me talk to them. I want to hear their voices. I want to tell them what I'm doing. Until I finish my research, you're the only one that can do it. Nathan. No. no. Don't ask me that. I haven't heard their voices for 15 years. Since that day, I heard them through a little girl. You. Jody, do this for me. Give me your hands. Okay, uh, right. Dead people. The infraworld is basically the afterworld. Dead people. Aiden is dead. Some dead part who? The father? Did they kill the father to connect to the daughter or something? <laughs> My darling. I missed you so much. Let us go, Nathan. <laughs> You're hurting us. You've got to let us go. Let us die! You. Lying. Helen didn't say that. You did. You're keeping them here. They're being torn apart between two worlds. That's, that's not true. You're lying. I know they want to be with me again. I know they want to be with me. They're suffering, Nathan. If you love them, if you if you really love them, you've got to let them go. You can't cheat death. Cheat death? Death is nothing. You hear me? Nothing. Goodbye, Nathan. Just, just do it. Just do it. Just, just let them go. And then talk to them. It's like he's going to let them go, and then like kill himself, or like he's going to end up killing himself, or at least die. Last time, Jordy has seen him alive. Well, have seen him alive. It's right there. Never was it a good parent. She was jeans like a lot. Like, how to lay a lot. Maps or whatever. Oh. Oh, come on. Hi, Johnny. Good to see you again. Well, you put us in a very difficult situation, you know that. 
We can't let you go. We can't kill you either. I don't know what you'll do on the other side. So there's only one appropriate solution. We inject you with a neural acid, which will put you in a permanent coma. Just like the mother. Exactly what we did with your mother. Ah. A simple and elegant way to put an end to our uh, collaboration. Goodbye, Johnny. It only lasts like 60, 70 years. We will always be yes. grateful for your help. Fight it. Do whatever you can to fight it. Either you end up alive or you end up dead. If you end up alive, you can like fight them back again. If you end up dead, you can fight them from the info world. Jody, you opened my eyes. It was so obvious, but I didn't want to see. Oh. I'm going to accomplish man's oldest dream. Nobody will have to die anymore. No one will ever be separated again. What? No. You can't destroy the infra world. What are you talking about? The containment field. I'm going to deactivate it. The infra world will spread through our dimension. Life and death united in one world. He's a villain, but he doesn't realize it. It's not just a monster. I've beaten death, Jody! Everything's gonna be just fine. You need to trust me. No. He thinks he's doing good, but he's not. It's gonna turn out fine. Let's see, it's kind of weird. So no one necessarily thinks he's going to be the villain, except for like that one guy who definitely thinks he's gonna have power, but yeah. Gaiden. Find something else. I notice how he's moving a lot slower now. Go forward from here. Where's the rest of your team? Vince and Nick? <laughs> they have three months leave. They're on a beach on some exotic island, no doubt. Lucky bastards. Yeah, I've got a couple of emails I need to send. You mind if I do that before we crack the bottle? No problem. Okay. Remember when you could do like a whole shelf at once? Come on, Hayden. You keep entities in this lab? Good God, no. They're all trapped behind the containment field. Hayden? Is that you, Hayden? If this is a joke, it's not funny. Why would I? What is it, Hayden? Where's Jody? Lead us to Jody, I show us the way. How am I supposed to show them the way? Right. Now what?